What's up guys, it's Dr. Cloud here, and I'm back for episode number 13. Now, I just need to go ahead and tell you that I have not recorded the series since before it came out. So I'm looking about like a month ago, three weeks, something like that, since I've actually like opened this game. Because I was like bulking to make sure that you guys are going to be good whenever I started my new job. So now I've experienced my new job for a little while and I kind of kind of like you know update you guys on that as well as like a few other things that have just you know um kind of been things so first of all i need a team recap bad so let me check this out real fit quick real quick and stirring with my words a lot more we've got bean the porygon 2 amulet coin with side beam magnet rice tackle and recover we got rescue the omastar with unaware that's pretty good with Surf, Bite, Mudshot, and Constrict. We got Cormo, the Haunter, with huge power. Remember this guy. With Spooky Plate, with Shadow Punch, Hypnosis, Nightshade, and Confuse Ray. We got Grit the Hypno. One sec. So, Grit the Hypno, level 25, pretty nice. With Download, with Confusion, Headbutt, Hypnosis, and Leaf Blade. We got Amazon, the Gliscor, with Speed Boost, with Poison Jab, Fain Attack, Pick good attack double attacks kind of messed me up heal order nice and we got casual the ludicolo with airlock with mega drain surf nature power and astonish all right so uh it looks like we're in mahogany town right now so i'm guessing i have four badges right now um and if i remember right i was going into the team rocket hideout right now i might be wrong I'm right though, or else this would not be happening, so. Seriously, Lance is like, what well, took you so long, am I right? It only took me a month to get here, it's fine. <clears throat> no, but um. So yeah, I prepped uh, quite a bit of content for you guys, um, because I knew my new like work schedule was gonna throw me off because I I was working like a first shift job, like um six to three and then i had a hard shift into um essentially working uh like a second shift job um most of the time where i was working more like uh 12 30 to 8 30. so that kind of um i had to get reused to that and boy that threw my sleep schedule like real real out of whack like it was pretty rough um and I had to get used to that, and I was able to, I think I maybe like tried to stream like once maybe, I should have looked at PP, um, but for the most part I just kind of like, you know, tried to get used to how everything was going to be here in the future, so, uh, as I'm getting used to, like I've, wow, you have Tickle and Rub Skin, that's kind of wild, and you Baton Pass, okay! Bro, this a bomb is being so extra right now. Did not need a side beam, a little diglet. That was completely unnecessary. Right, so I've been getting used to this like new schedule. Um, for the most part, it's been inconsistent, I would say, because <clears throat> uh, simply because I. My work seems to struggle keeping its employees. So like, probably since I've been there, there's been like six people who've left and I've been there for like a month. And like some of it was cause like, there was like a change in management, like as I was coming in. So like the old people didn't really want to, uh, just want to take the advantage of the time and like start working with, at a new place as their old manager left. Uh, but, uh, man, it's, it's been a lot like even like just tonight like someone um what that today was their last shift like as i worked with them and it was like man it, it's really nice having someone who you know knows what they're doing doing their job and we have a lot of people who don't right now or still learning like almost including myself um because like i'm sitting there being like this like manager position and i barely know what i'm doing 
because we keep like having to like go and find new employees and it's just killing us man it's hurting us because we can't get the time into people like myself like we want to Bean's doing pretty good out here, I'm noticing. I really love him to be a Porygon Z, though. I love Porygon Z. He's so weird and dumb. Fun fact, I've also been doing, like, kind of a personal, um, what's called Radical Red playthrough, um, vanilla non-randomized, and I end up getting a Porygon, and it's currently a Porygon 2, and I'm just trying to, like, get the Eevee light for him, and I'm scared to fight Whitney, so... I think I'm just gonna take the hits, cause like I, I got recover. I'm gonna be fine. Maybe I'll crit. Nope. Oh, that's even better. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing for like the last like three weeks is just like trying to get used to my new like work schedule. And I feel like I'm starting to lock it down now. Like, um, if I'm working say at like one o'clock, I can still get up at like eight, nine o'clock, um, take care of a couple chores and then like uh, go for like a run come home, shower, and then go to work. And then after work, I can do like recordings slash uh, potentially streams. Um, I'm still kind of spitballing with that idea because um, the main reason I would want to stream is because I want to play um, other games. And I don't know, I feel like playing them for the channel is a more beneficial thing than just playing them personally sometimes but also it's not because like playing games just for fun is also super important but I also think I can get more content out of um, certain streams that I will want to do like more shiny hunting streams and if I can actually find the shinies then I can put up shiny reactions and that's great content for people because people really enjoy shiny reactions and not everyone can make it to stream so like that's a thing that I would love to be able to do but I've just been um, unlucky really since my like first original shiny which I put up a short for that you know my um, Tapu Lele shiny and it got like over a thousand views which is big numbers for me personally because like I don't even have a thousand subscribers yet Speaking of that, 1,000 subscribers, like, that's definitely a goal by the end of the year. Like, no doubt in my mind. I want that by the end of the year. Like, the earlier the better, in my opinion, but, like, I'm new, I, I'm just gonna keep working on this grind, and I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it, guys. I promise you, no problem. Um, alright. So, I've also been, um, kind of following up with a... another job... Um, as well as I'm at this one because they're kind of offering me like more and like better things over there on their side and I think it's like in two days like I'm gonna go talk to them and see really like where we're standing like if they're if they're like hmm we like what you got uh, I'm gonna be doing that in like two days so <clears throat> That is a potentially exciting thing if I can get that. I, I completely forgot like how shady locks work. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm sitting here like why do I not why do I have like partial PP on like most of my moves? What's going on? <clears throat> so yeah, I'm trying to follow up with that. Um I've got a friend who works over there right now and she's been um badgering the manager a little bit too much about getting me into uh you know that that job it's pretty funny in my opinion but um i'm worried that she's trying too hard and might scare the manager away from potentially hiring me okay you are at the level i needed you to be at so i can use someone else now um, Ketchup's a little bit hurt, so I think I'm just gonna go... I'm gonna go Grit. Grit's got this. <clears throat> you know, one thing I kind of wish I did is, um, reset my subscribers. But I don't think I really gained that many subscribers 
in the last little bit of time because I haven't been like pushing out the content quite as hard, which I kind of regret, but also I don't really have a lot of choice in. Like, I know you can get an encounter here, but I'm worried about my game glitching, so I'm just not even gonna worry about it. <clears throat> oh yeah, Lance heals you somewhere right about here. Yep. A little bit of a waste of a heal, in my opinion, but there wasn't too much more I was going to be able to do. Oh, baby. I also have um, recently got new glasses, and you guys might not be able to tell the difference because um, they do look fairly similar to my old ones. But I went through this whole process where I tried to get new glasses, and uh, I got them in the mail, and I put them on, and they just like did not fit right. They they just kept like slipping down my face, and it was really unenjoyable to do that. So. Uh, Someone tried to like, help me fix them, and they did an okay job, but then I took it to um, an optometrist and had them like adjust it for my face, and they end up finding this like big old crack on like um, one of the earpieces, and I'm just like, well, that's great. Um, luckily, the company I got them from have like a 300, 365 day like return policy. Which is kind of ridiculous in my opinion, but, you know, um, so I ended up getting these glasses instead, and I got, like, blue light protection on them, and anti-glare coating, so, like, I think looking into my lights, like, there's a lot less glare coming off of my glasses, I think. Um, I'd have to look at previous content to really tell, but I think there is. And isn't that all that really matters is if I think there is? The answer is no. I also want it to be there for you guys. I want you to be able to see, you know, my, uh, my beauty. Yep, I definitely believe that. <clears throat> um, pretty sure it's not a dark type move, but it doesn't really matter. Like, the best move he really probably has is, like, knockoff? Maybe fan attack? Yeah. I don't even think he has, a, like, a an attacking dark type move. I should be able to go for mud shot. Oh, he does. He has paint attack. Thanks for me wrong, bro. You feather-headed idiot. That's kind of how I'm feeling right now, you know. <clears throat> so, another thing I've ended up finding out um, while I've been at my new job is that. You can use um, different like food items as currency like really well. So I've been using like um, cookies as currency as I go to um, different like businesses and I'll give them cookies and they will then give me something else. So like I can go to like, you know, uh, a smoothie place and like get a free smoothie or some cookies or um ooh um I use the odd keystone do I have an odd keystone I feel like I've gotten that item before hmm I still have this old amber didn't I use the old amber like I bought it and then I used it um, as an encounter for that Groudon, and I ended up getting the Raikou. I think that was a thing. Because I think that episode actually just went up the day that I'm recording this now. So that actually gives you a timeline for when I'm recording this as well. <sighs> Jace, you're fine. Cats, man. Cats. You love them, you hate them. They're annoying, they cuddle. It's life, you know? It's life. Ooh. Okay. I 
don't like Rotom. Definitely Amazon. Amazon's got fan attack and we can, like, you know, we can hit him pretty well. I was gonna say touch him pretty well. I'm like, nope. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. That ain't it, Chief. That ain't it. Fan attack. Now nah, Amazon's got this. <clears throat> I, I, I think he missed, heard me with his ginormous bad ears. Give me a second here. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Amazon's got this. Yeah, that's what I thought, you giant bad ear. Uh, goblin. Gosh. I was looking at his face and I'm like, what does this remind me of? Goblin. Bad eared goblin. You scorpion. You flying scorpion. Jeez, that's terrifying. Is that a thing? Is flying scorpions a thing? If, if there it is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a picture on screen of flying scorpions. I don't know if anyone's actually gonna see it, because, like, you know, um, retention's a little bit weird on these episodes, but we're gonna find out. Tell you what, if you guys are at this point in the episode and you saw that um, picture, uh, type flying scorpions in the uh, comments down below. I'm, I'm actually kind of curious. Wow, I did not expect you to be able to see me. I'm... I'm not even gonna entertain this guy. This nerd glass pushing guy, you know, pushing up his glasses all the time. Like, what a nerd who pushes up his glasses all the time. Nerd. Obviously, these are all in good, like, joking fashion. Like, I'm just, you know, I don't know. I, I'm just kind of feeling like calling things out like that. Like, um, fun story, actually, I just remembered. So, <clears throat> alright, so I'm making a cake uh, at my job, and then um, I, I, show, I show the people the cake that, 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 that they ordered, and keep in mind, this person has, um, I don't know, I keep in mind, context. This person has um, called and changed their cake probably like three or four times um, and has come in for color matching to make sure they get the right colors on their cake. Now, that's a lot more than I expect almost anyone to do. But this lady wouldn't be extra. <clears throat> so, I give the cake to uh, her fiance and Fiante um, seems like a little questionable about it, so uh, as I'm kind of like walking away, he's like sending a picture to his, you know, soon-to-be wife, and she is not happy, dude, not happy. She like calls up the store and is telling me and like just cussing me out about it that like her five-year-old could have done better on this cake. And like, I'm holding the phone, you know, you know, like a pretty good distance away from my ear. Cause like I can hear her from a good distance. And I'm just like kind of looking at like her fiance and we just have the same look, just like, man, we don't want to deal with this. But things like this guy, this guy's got to go home to that. So I feel kind of bad for him. But at the same time, it's like, I really should not have to be dealing with this right now. Like, I've got better things to do. So, also, just, just side note, side note. I don't know what kind of five-year-old she has, but one who can, like, properly decorate, like, a cake. Please, show me this genius five-year-old you have who can accurately decorate a cake and center text on it and have a steady enough hand to do all the writing for it. Please, show me this just amazing five-year-old you have. Please. I, I wanted to say all these things. I wanted to, but I'm trying to be a good employee to the customer. And I offer them a replacement cake. And she is just not even wanting it. Uh, she just... I don't even know what she wanted to happen. Like, that was, like, definitely not what she wanted. 
um, because it was for like, a sweet 16 party for what I assume is her daughter. Um, I'm not 100% because, you know, I I guess, you know, a, her son could have a sweet 16. I don't, I don't know if that's a thing, but um, <clears throat> my assumption is a daughter. And my, I'm also sitting here thinking, like, it is it common for your parent to, I don't know, is it, do people still get cakes for sweet 16s? Like, I feel like it, it's something, like, more you need. I mean, that lady was also, um same person who's yelling at me telling me that they've been waiting you know two years for this cake because apparently the cakes um are just you know to die for like wow um but you know um that was the whole thing i had to deal with and i made them new cake like uh that night um so they could pick it up tomorrow because they weren't gonna wait the necessary time i needed to like make a whole new cake because they had, like, dinner reservations, I guess. The fiancé was completely willing to wait and, like, very, you know, apologetic of his fiancé, the woman. <clears throat> and he was just completely willing to wait and fine with it. And I think it's probably because he wanted to stay pretty far away from her. Uh, but he did not get to. He was definitely told to get to dinner. So I make the cake and it's all set for them and they pick it up the next day and the day after that um, she calls and gets um, my manager and she starts just cussing him out and he just isn't even listening to her and it's great because he just tells her, oh are you talking to me? Because I know you're not using that kind of language with me. So, hangs up on him, calls corporate, and corporate just ends up um, telling her, yeah, you're no longer welcome at any, any locations. And I'm just like, thank you, thank you. This woman is a, just a terrible person. Thank you for just making it so I never have to deal with her again. But then I realized something. So the way that they're like, kind of, you know, basing not serving her anymore is by her last name. Now, knowing that she's about to be married because I know this is her fiance because he said so. If he takes, if she takes his last name, then that way won't work anymore. So, I'm really hoping I just don't have to deal with this woman again. Am I almost through this hideout? Oh, I totally am. We don't battle right here, right? No, he just lost, that's right. <sighs> I forget what's like uh, downstairs from here because like I can see there's a downstairs way. I'm just gonna let this episode kind of like run a little bit, or sorry, uh, another upstairs way. Ah, uh, there's another item. Ooh, hello. Uh, I have to look at that. That's a great TM. So is U-turn. Can anyone learn U-turn? Isn't this Bugsy's team? Nope, it's definitely not. But uh, I know people actually run U-turn um, Gliscor. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I'm looking for Thunderfang. Trying to remember that. Oh, fun fact: these glasses also like don't fit my face that well. I'm gonna go get them adjusted tomorrow. Thunderfang on rescue actually would not be bad at all. Because the thing it's good against, I'm more likely to send a rescue in on. But I think rescue is more of a special attacker, so that's not really helping him at all. I just want to check this real quick. 
Yep. And he's boosted. And I'm not, I, I prefer not to give damage on because I don't want to send him in against water types like flying types. Yeah, that's fine. He's defensive. Okay. Let's battle this executive. Oh! Yawning. Oh, yeah, that's nothing. So, like, no, I didn't. I already said this. Like, me trying to really use the time I have, like, after work, like tonight, and being productive about it. That's what I'm going for right now. So, if I do this right, then you guys should be seeing um, still the consistent content of, you know, like a series type. And I also want to add more things. I've got more ideas. It's just, you know, putting the time in for it that I need to do. Makuhita! <clears throat> oh, dude. I don't know if you guys have Disney Plus, but there's a short on there. Um, I forget what it's called, but it's about this, um, like, woman who creates, like, uh, I think it's uh, maybe like a dumpling type thing, and it ends up becoming, like, sentient and alive, and it, she goes through, like, raising it, and then as it tries to, like, leave, uh, she eats it, and it's kind of messed up, um, but then you realize, like, it's meant to symbolize her relationship and... Uh, life with her own son. It's pretty good. Um, I would highly recommend checking it out because it's one of those things that has no actual like uh, voice actors. It's just context. Like you're just watching the events happen and uh, music is playing. So it's pretty much like how good you are at like reading situations like that, which I am decent at it is the word that I would use. Decent. Not great, but decent. Um, do you still have side beams? Oh, yeah, you got healed, yeah. Oh, um, statics. So, I'm probably gonna take one static from here. I will see if I can... I actually... I know. I know. That I can check them all out, so I will check all them out and decide which one I want. Ivysaur? Don't be this way. I remember that I have the flutes. I got two of the flutes, red and blue. I just need yellow for that confusion. It's a little annoying how it speeds me too. Because if he lands in there's sleep powder. <sighs> Come on. Sleep powder is like 75% accurate, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. That's fine. I actually probably should use tackle anyways. And not wasted the PP for um blah, 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 side beam. See, I knew I could do it, guys. It's fine. Alright. Let me go catch the last Let me go catch the electrode. And that should nicely finish off the episode for a nice clean 30 minutes. Did the game know that I don't want to see him run all the way around this wall that I can't actually see? Do you... do... I'm pretty sure we do a double battle with Lance now, don't we? That's what I'm remembering. I'm also remembering how bad the level scaling for, um... For this is, like, I'm in the 7th Gem City, and they're using, like, 24s. It really is just like, what is happening? I don't think I went this way yet. No, I did. My brain's just kind of blanking a little bit. I feel like I missed items in this place too, to be honest. But it's fine. Man, imagine having your uh, your Murkrow give up the password, your super secret um, electrode fueling radio signal creating device. You know, fun thought. Do you think Pokemon actually hold back the Pokemon world for technology improvements? 
Like, are they so focused on Pokemon that they can't improve their own technologies? Like, the Pokedex alone is pretty incredible if you think about it. Like, it has, like, almost all the Pokemon in the world cataloged. Almost all. There, there are exceptions. <laughs> oh, Lay it touch Deoxys, that's fantastic, I love it. I mean, Deoxys is kind of trash uh, with its moveset, but it's doing pretty well. Wow. It's fine, I'm not switching out. Ooh, it bit you! Uh, I feel like I'm gonna learn probably a new psychic type move soon, so I don't mind using this now. Good job, Yox. Way to pursue that baby hippo. You know, that sounds really weird, doesn't it? You're basically pursuing a baby. You know, it's getting weird. I'm gonna stop. I'm just gonna cut off that thought process. I'm also realizing I am so used to the way um, Radical Red does their leveling uh, for the experience share. And I'm just here like, why, am, why is not, why are all my Pokemon not getting levels right now? You know, like how they do in current games. I just realized my light turned off. Hey Google, lights on. Oh cool, I'm asleep. That's cool. Good job, Yox. That's way to go. I'm doing great. Yep, look at me. Just sleeping all the way through the end. Alright. Yep. I got you, Lance. We're fine. I'm getting sleepy, dude. Sleepy. Um, I also have the black flute. I think I said the word flute weird. Is it a key item? No. Am I just blind? No, it's not here. Where are my flutes? Are they berries? No. They're not here either. Oh, they're in battle items. Gotcha. Really? You can't use them outside of battle? I did not know that. That seems kind of wild that you can't play a flute outside of battle. Um, the thing is I actually want him to be awake. Uh, I guess I'll just give you the lava cookie then, right? Yeah, let's go and give you the love cookie. Because I want the hypnosis in case there's something good. Alright, let's check it out. Camera, not bad at all. Pretty good. Ooh, primate, not bad at all. Pillow swine, but I want mammal swine. I've got a good ground type right now. I don't have a good fire type. The camera's not really a great fire type. So fighting's not bad. He's also an ice type, which I do like. I think I'm gonna go for the mammal swine potential. Um Yeah, you could probably take a confusion. Oh heck yeah you can. And hypnosis, 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 and pokeball. And whoop. Great ball. There we go. Alright, just because I don't 
really think I can look for names too well right now. I am just going to simply name this uh, Kage, regardless of if Kage has a name already. I'm just going to go ahead and name it. Days. There we go. Um, well, now that I know this is a... I can't remember its name. Primeape, got it. I switched the wrong Pokemon. I have like payback though or pursuit. Do not like that. There we go. And now let me fight this camera. I just want to go ahead and like finish out this area and we can move on in the next episode. Whirlpool, that's right. Oh, that's right. I could actually uh, go get Lugia if I really wanted to. I don't think I can quite yet because you need um, a certain gym badge to use Whirlpool. I forget which one it is though. Jasmine's? Maybe? It might be... Oh, hang on. I about, I'm about, oh, I about went to heal at the uh, Pokemon Center. Whoops. Alright, so that's going to be it for first episode back, episode 13. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and make sure you hit that like button to show me that you guys are enjoying this content, because we are, you know, not too far away from wrapping up this series, if I'm really being honest with you. Probably like another two weeks of it, I would guess. So, I wish you guys on episode 14.